a lot of people think that climate change is a long-term future thing. Clearly there are hundreds and thousands of instances where climate change is already affecting people currently. The people who live in the Arctic, the Inuit in Canada's case, they're already experiencing changes in the ice, changes in the wildlife that they harvest, changes in their ability to move from one place to another. One of our main responsibilities is research. Uh, and I would argue that it's a very important one, particularly in areas where research is not undertaken for, for financial gain. My research is uh, uh, trying to understand how climate change affects environments and people and economies and how that relates to policy. We had a whole series of case studies across the circumpolar north. So this involved uh, researchers and communities from uh, Alaska, Canada, Russia, uh, Finland, Sweden, Norway, uh, Iceland, Greenland, and, and we worked together to see if we could get an understanding of how these northern communities are experiencing these changes and how they deal with them. We share that knowledge and other knowledge with, with students. We do that both in classroom but also through engaging students in the research. I will have uh, all sorts of graduate students who are doing the work in the field in these places. In the classes, I rely a lot, or I use a lot, of the material from our field research. If I talk about my time in Nigeria um, on the coast with these people and I've got pictures of it and I've got stories of the individuals, they connect with that. Education involves the contribution to knowledge and this research contributes to knowledge. It seeks to improve our understanding of what's going on. 20 years ago, if you said, what are the impacts of climate change? And people would go, I don't know what you're talking about. The students develop their skill in community-engaged research. They have a much better understanding of how you can be more effective in your engagement and interaction with communities to the benefit of, of all of them. Seeing them develop all of their skills, their skills in, in communicating with the public, their skills in teaching, and then post-university, these people go on to all sorts of things. They work in, in business, they work in government, they work in non-government organisations, they work in international organisations. I see these young people, from uh, undergraduates and graduates, um, pursuing uh, this interest beyond the university environment.